it's Suey Sims here on this fine, wonderful morning. Well, it's morning for me, uh, but good morning, afternoon, you know, nighttime, whatever, <laughs> whatever it is for you over there. This is my very first YouTube video. I'm excited because I don't know, I wasn't going to start a YouTube anytime soon. I have two young kids two beautiful little girls and they keep me busy so right now what time is it I literally probably wake up every morning around 5 30 to 6 a.m. because that's my me time I'll do whatever I'll make breakfast drink my coffee maybe have a tea instead um, I'll listen to music or I'll play my sims literally that's the only time I can play sims is in the morning so that's why it's morning right now <laughs> but I'm sitting here with my apple not apple juice orange juice sipping some orange juice because we had a really big family night last night we stayed up pretty late and played some games it was really fun so no coffee this morning I just need orange juice and a nap later <laughs> but welcome to my channel I hope you guys enjoy um, I absolutely had a blast playing with the sim and um, I didn't want to make another Instagram account I just didn't and I'm like oh where can I share it because I have a lot more fun playing the sims if I share it take pictures I'm just in it and I never get bored so I'm like why not make a YouTube you know why not make videos and I will be so thankful even just for the one or two views that I get and I'm totally fine with that because I'm just having fun with it and you know that's just the type of person <laughs> the type of person I am I'll just if I have fun you know like I'm happy happy and peaceful so this is my sim Heaven Faye and I absolutely love her <laughs> she's just so cute and I just recently got into making more sims like making better sims and I I just love the way she turned out. I love her eyes. Oh, and then my reach, my G shade is on right now. But I love how my G shade like emphasizes her features. See, look, this is with it off, and then this is with it on. It like brings out her freckles and even her suntan. Um, this girl literally, I just found out she does not like swimming. Does not like swimming, but she loves um, bike rides. That's one thing Heaven loves is um, she does not like going inside the pool, but she loves to just relax by the pool and she loves to sunbathe. So I'm like, okay, Heaven, let's I'll let you do your thing. I haven't played a sim like that before, but she's so peaceful. She's so independent. Um, she'll do whatever you know, whatever she whatever she wants to do, she'll do. But she's so peaceful and quiet to herself. She's just been so, like so heartwarming to play. Um, and I've never played a sim that wants to be a best-selling author. She's a total bookworm. And that's her trait right here, bookworm. Um, so she wants to be a best-selling author. The sim wants to write books and become a famous author. I haven't played that yet. So I'm excited to experience the whole book side of things with sims and I haven't played it yet because I'm one of those players that likes to do things that the community doesn't do a lot and the community loves to paint and write <laughs> to make quick money but we're gonna see how this works um, but right now I don't think I have any likes or dislikes oh, oh yeah I don't put any likes or dislikes for my sims because I like for them to kind of develop their own personality by themselves it's just it's so fun for me that way I'm not picking like the same things so right now she likes the color pink and yellow um, so I did just that I mainly make her attire based on her personality um, she became to like new age music which is different for me I don't even think I ever listened to that station <laughs> um, also she likes writing duh right her dislikes blue you don't like blue honey blue's a good color okay but you see what I mean 
You see what I mean? Their personalities come out. And then she dislikes fitness, which is a big thing for me because I always, my Sims always like fitness, you know, and I'm a big fitness person IRL. So I'm like, my Sims, like, we gotta work out or we gotta go run, you know, I don't know, we gotta do some yoga. So it's funny playing her and she's like so uncomfortable because she doesn't want to swim laps in a pool. <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, we're gonna play this. Um, her other traits are cheerful and good. Um, and she goes by she, her. I believe I have her pronouns right. Oh, I did have her as she, her. I don't know why it, it walked off. Um, but this is her. This is her first everyday outfit. I love it. Um, I love her shoes. Just everything. Her nails. I don't even remember putting these type of nails on you, but you know, let's go for it. You wanted to slap those on? I'll leave it, honey. I'll leave it. Okay, so let's look at her other clothes. Um, this is her second day everyday outfit. I absolutely love this outfit. She just looks so cute like and so comfortable at the same time. Like this screams heaven, you know? This is totally her personality. She's peaceful. She loves, she's really laid back. You know, she's inviting, she's welcoming, she's so easy to talk to, and this is what this whole look gives off for me, for her. Um, and her third one, oh my goodness, I love this outfit too. I get so emotional, but this is like her other side, you know, like, she loves to have, when, she, when she's in the mood, okay, when she's in the mood, she loves to have fun. She loves to have fun. She loves to let loose just sometimes. And you know what I mean? And um, she loves to be, just be, be outgoing, you know, hang out, to meet new people. And then I feel like the first day outfit's more like conservative. She's on her independent strut right now. She's doing her thing, you know. Um, here's her formal so cute so cute um but basically a little bit of her backstory she isn't really too close with her parents um you know she just kind of grew up that way not really that close with her parents her parents really i mean they're a support system for her but like you know you know how some parents are like they're in more than just your parents or your friends. She doesn't really have that. Um, so when she turned 18, she couldn't wait to move out. Um, she needed to save up, but her parents really wanted her to go to college too. Um, so she went to college because she was thinking that was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, okay, this is what I need to do. Um, but ultimately she was like, you know what? I need to, I need to get out of here. I need to make a life for myself. I can't even be myself here, you know what I mean? Um, so she took what she had, make, uh, you know, working at the supermarket, saving up, and she moved. And she did, she saved up pretty well. She's a hard worker. She saved up a lot of money. Um, and she was like, I am out here, out here. <laughs> But yeah, um, the only person she is close with in our family is her sister. Um, I still have to make them, by the way, but they will be appearing in the future. Um, really close with her sister, and her sister was really sad to see her leave. Um, but she was like, I need to go. Don't worry, I'll invite you to my new place. Right now, she's living in... Where is she living? Gosh, brain fart right now spacing out um Windenburg I've never played a household in Windenburg yet it's a lot of first for me guys <laughs> but it's been so fun um Windenburg with her cute little puppy Remy not a puppy anymore but I call all dogs puppies because they're all puppies at heart you know they're all puppies at heart this is Remy he's so cute oh my gosh and he's a stubborn dog y'all 
What's his traits? Because that might explain a lot. Troublemaker. Oh, yes. 100%. 100%. Um, gluten. Okay. And couch potato. Above all, he's definitely a troublemaker. Like, this guy, he just likes wrecking havoc. Likes getting into things. You know, trash, getting dirty, all of that, you know. It's it's a lot sometimes, but you know, we're heaven's heaven is motivated. She loves Remy. Absolutely adores him. Um she had him since he was a puppy living at her parents' house. So she he's like her best friend. And the troublemaker used to get to her how <laughs> rowdy and stubborn he is, but now, you know, this is Remy. That's who he is and I love him. You know, I wouldn't want to change anything about my Remy. <laughs> So, um, she does deal with it, and she is very dedicated to get him to learn. It just takes him a little longer, you know, than most pups out there to learn a trick or two, or just to, you know, behavior. But he does. He slowly does. So, so right now, we are at work. Heaven works as an intern, or no, she just got promoted. She works as a okay she's a doctor oh she's a medical assistant okay so she just got promoted recently to a medical assistant if i could talk <laughs> to a medical assistant and which is good because we need some money honey we need some money um, <laughs> badly because where we live right now she kind of went a little above and beyond um but our bills are about five thousand so it's like we need to get up there for this upcoming paycheck oh man but she's at work right now we just arrived um i haven't really played the doctor career that much i've only played with one sim with the doctor career um probably up to like about now faith loves helping people she's a good person um she loves just making you know being a difference in some way somehow making someone smile especially kids oh my goodness Faith loves kids. She literally dreams of having her own <laughs> all the time. But she loves, you know, she just loves people. It's definitely a passion of hers, but what really is at the bottom of her heart is writing, right? She loves to write. Like writing is her she knows it's it's funny, like you know, like when you get home you have free time and there's just that one thing that you want to do for her that's writing or reading a book so she knows that being in this medical field is something that she loves this career but eventually you know in her wild wild dreams wild wild fantasies she dreams of being you know writing books and people enjoying that you know what I mean so we'll see where that takes us but right now we are at work I did download a new medical library or library <laughs> hospital here we go I did download a new hospital okay it's called SB Hospital Willow Creek by Sarah Sarah Brown um, I really like it because it's pretty big I mean what hospital isn't right but like I think I want to put some computers closer to the room because like on some sometimes you have to you know reach research stuff on the computer um, and I would like I mean the break room so far too you know it's over here and the patients are way over here so that's something I might change in the future um, not right now though I'm not in a building mood right now but once you know I get a little get a little fire get a little push get a little building energy I will be there that's one thing she needs a shower because she was overheating okay can I just focus for a second where am I at right now where am I <laughs> oh my gosh okay this way okay all right I'm one of those players that like I had you know how like you can only play a certain way like a certain angle I always have to play the same way so I always have to put my camera here to know where I'm at but I'm gonna have my girl take a shower real quick oh you wanted a shower anyways 
see she this this is the most independent sim I've ever played because usually I'll turn anatomy off autonomy off I can never say that word I need to put my blur back in because I was trying wicked whims at one point and no honey I can't I can't I can't so <laughs> I can't so wonderful whims it is and I love it but I need to put the the pixelated stuff back so let's give her her privacy because <sighs> we can't be having everybody see your goodies girl okay so we have these patients to treat over here this one's ready to go um, treatment I love how some sims are you know you can just discharge already we need to chat with a patient and we need to swab a sample chat with the patient Oh my gosh, you know what else I really love about this hospital is that it plays this music here, which you guys could probably hear, and it raises her fun need. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I never, that's such a good idea, you know, such a good idea. All right, so we chatted with the patient, or at least I think we did. Okay, so this is one of our doctors. Um, I don't know why she's over here, because I need to examine her. Swap patient for swap for sample. Okay, I got this. I can do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know, because she's in the way. Why is she in the way? Like, honey, you gotta move. Oh, dang it. Okay, admit to bed. I know you're the, you're the nurse and everything, but like, I need to stand right there so I can do my job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's go to examine, swab for sample, and let's check your ears. Here we go. Look at that light shining through. Check those ears. Oh, looking good, looking good. That's not too bad. So let's pause this. Viable tissue sample was successfully collected from Samantha. Heaven was tested in the chemical analyzer. Okay. Heaven successfully performed a practice examination on a patient. The test results seem valid. But the specific da data is a bit over her head and will be passed along to a physician for that. Okay. So we still have to pass it along. And that's okay. Oh no, honey. Okay, okay. Don't worry. We won't do that again. Alright, so you're sensitive to light. Let's go ahead and get the nurse in here so badly wants to talk to you. <laughs> Just go ahead and discharge you. All right, so it looks like you're ready to be discharged, Malcolm. Go ahead and drink up. Yes, this makes me feel so much better. I'm so glad to hear it. Have a wonderful day. I know you're hungry, but we really, we had to treat some patients. We like just got to work and it's only 9 a.m. Oh my gosh, she's calling us. Oh. Okay, you guys, okay, you guys. So this is something I haven't mentioned yet. So this guy right here, Peyton Fetch. Oh no, and I missed it. I thought if I paused the game, I thought if I paused the game, I could talk before I pressed accept or deny. <laughs> right? Look at heaven looking at me like, um, I really wanted to answer that phone call. I know, honey, my bad, my bad. <laughs> But, okay, so Peyton. So, Heaven met Peyton out and about. I forgot where. But she met him, and she thought he was really attractive. Okay, so let me see. Where's their relationships? Right here. They're actually, no, they're, they're a little further than I thought that they were. But she finds him pretty attractive, I believe. Perceived as attractive. Yes. And Heaven's first impression of him is clingy, which is funny because that's who he is. He's, he's a bro. He's lazy. Um, I forgot his third trait. What was his third trait? Oh, um, romancer or whatever that is. The romantic. That's his other trait is romantic. And Peyton's first impression of Heaven is fun to be around. Um, which is awesome because that's heaven's personality. It's awesome how realistic this is. So with Peyton, he 
he's more of kind of like a serial romantic, right? I feel like he kind of comes off playboy vibe, a little edgy. All the ladies think he's, he's cute, he's good looking, you know what I mean? And he's he's very flirty, like he knows how to hold a conversation. Um, and Peyton was mes- mesmerized by that. She So they did hang out. They went to go hang out at the pool. <laughs> um, that's where I learned that she didn't like to swim. But she made the best of it. She was splashing him. They swam around together, which was really cu- cute. Um, and then she got out. She relaxed on the benches. And while she was getting a suntan, I noticed that Peyton was talking to another woman in the pool. And I'm like, oh, I'm so glad heaven is not seeing this because... I would just, I would feel some type of way. I just would. I'm like, we're hanging out, you know, like you're talking into another girl, but you know, heaven didn't see it. But we'll have to see how this relationship goes because heaven so far is really smitten. And she is a little bit, she doesn't really like, you know, his little clingy impression that she has of him already. But she thinks she they can get past it, you know, maybe it's just, you know, maybe she's being too judgmental. She doesn't like to judge people. She wants to see where this can go. This is what I am talking about. Peyton literally called us while we're admitting a patient and he said, Hey, Heaven, I think Lydia Costa is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Like, what? How do you not see that we think you're cute and you're going to ask me? about another girl that you think is cute uh, heaven knows that she doesn't want to say yes go for it she's more like uh, you know like I don't really know her you just moved to Windenburg maybe you should take things a little slow you know maybe jumping into a relationship isn't a good idea you know what I mean she's kind of playing it a little innocent but kind of using an ex like uh an excuse for her saying no so we're gonna say we're just gonna gently say no okay so we just got back home from work uh we just got an unknown call do you canoe wait who is this uh you just got pranked (laughs) was that a prank though was it this is where she lives so pretty I just made it those of you who saw on Instagram or Twitter well then this looks familiar to you I literally just um, uploaded it to my gallery Subi Sims and you can also go to subisims.com um, to get your hands on this as well but my fiance showed me a really cute cute like kind of small house looks literally similar um, and I and I was just like, oh my goodness, I need to make this in my game. And he was like, go for it. And he literally like would check on it with me and like tell me things that need to be different or how, how it was coming along. It was cute. He was a support system. He did good. He did good. <laughs> this is the house. It's super cute. Oh my goodness, it took me forever to make it. But I just love it. I really love it. And I love how there's like a pond back here. And it's kind of hidden with the trees. You know, it's got... An, got a cozy feeling you know and the house is called cozy hideaway <laughs> that's kind of what I went went for her you guys will notice some things are different than what I uploaded we had to sell some things <laughs> to pay our last bills I kind of went you know a little unrealistic with her moving into this house but I was play testing it I just fell in love with them like oh my gosh you know like I don't want her to leave this house even though she can't afford it yet So we're gonna see how we do. As you can see, it's kind of bare. Like I said, we had to sell some things. So like there used to be a TV and stand here. We used to have couches and everything. Like this looked a lot more full. We're gonna call Peyton. Okay, let's call Peyton. Will you be able to stay there? Just be like, hey, I just got home from work. How are you doing? Oh, really? No way. Yes. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe how many patients came in today. Yes, they were. And I just hope I didn't don't get sick because I was sneezing all day. Let's chat with her too because we don't really have any friends. 
And like I said, usually we would call her sister. I need to bring her existence to her relationship panel. Right now I need some cuddles for my Remy. Oh, I missed you, Remy. Here you go, bud. Yes. Are you hungry? Here's a treat. Who wants a treat? You do. Yes, here you go. <laughs> I'm really not quite sure yet on how to make money with this. The only one that I'm making money on is daisies. Literally. Daisies and bluebells. And they're not selling very well on Plopsy. Oh, is it because they're poor quality? Is that why? Well, maybe I can sell them on the little market stand. You know what, let's try that. We're gonna try that. We are here at the creative center and one of my, my oldest just woke up. So I'm probably gonna have to be wrapping this up soon. Oh, they can go bad. No. Oh, cause they're poor quality. <gasps> no way. Do you think people will still buy it though? <laughs> We're gonna try it. Fabulously slinted flowers. They may smell distinctive, but they'll keep the flies away or attract them. Who knows? This is so terrible. Oh my gosh, she bought $6. Oh no. This is the most unsuccessful sell I've ever had. But I can't believe someone bought it. Yes! $24, $8. Okay, we're selling them though, guys. Poor girl is tired, you guys. She is tired. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this first part here. Hopefully we can get a computer soon and get her writing skill more up. And that way, um, very soon she could start, you know, publishing her own books. I'm excited. Thanks again. I'll see you guys next time. Much love. Ciao.